Hey guys, today's video is going to be all about Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Where do we even begin? Yeah. So, Maybe with the plot. That's Yeah, that's so good this stuff. one is all about the island that the dinosaurs were set in on Jurassic World. They're trying to decide whether to let them all die because of the volcano, as they would in, you know, natural circumstances, or whether to save them and try the damn thing again, you know? Like you think for oh, the fifth God. time, Luke. <laughs> yeah, so our Lord and Saviour, Dr. Malcolm, <laughs> he's trying to convince them just to like let them die, you know? It would be the right thing to do in nature, Makes but sense. obviously people can't like, have that, no, can you? We're not gonna let them die. So basically the plot is trying to save the dinosaurs, but also they get like double crossed by some people and it all goes tits up really. No spoilers, but yeah, that's pretty much That's how the plot of the exact film every single time. <laughs> Not really spoiling anything now, are we? I think we should maybe start... I mean, it's an action film, so it's not like the acting is gonna be Oscar worthy. It is acting that you find in a Jurassic World film, you know? Like, all of the Jurassic Park films have the exact same, like... Exactly. There is no change whatsoever in, like, no. the whole characters of Owen or Claire. I guess maybe there's a no. little bit of development, maybe, between the characters. Barely. <laughs> a tiny bit, but Barely. you know, Chris Pratt's funny. He's funny, I find him funny. He is basically <laughs> the exact same character in everything he does, but... That's okay. Um, he's a slightly more muted version of himself in this, I feel. Like, he's not full-on, like, you know, Star-Lord mm -hmm. funny. You know, they're likeable characters, you root for them to yeah, get yeah. to the end. Like, yeah, it's pretty bog-standard, nothing special. Yeah, there's dinosaurs. Probably the best them. bit of the movie is dinosaurs, to be um, honest. Yeah, I just, I don't even, I don't know if I like or hate this yet. I haven't <laughs> fully decided in my brain what to think of it. I thought there were some, like, cool ideas, but I don't think they fleshed them out enough to make yeah. something potentially Or there was, like, great. too many things going on. There were a lot of things going on. Whereas, like, they could have, like, pared back a few, few of the things that were going on. Yeah, I feel like they maybe tried um, to jam too many things into yeah. the film and it didn't really work like i feel either. like a lot of the time spent on the island could have not you know could have easily not been in the film they could yeah. have shortened that a lot although that was like the first act was probably my favorite part of the whole yeah, movie yeah yeah definitely even but, though that could have been cut out <laughs> it could have easily what does that say it's be just like dinosaurs and you know stuff like that but like you know what i mean how that could have easily been a lot shorter mm -hmm. and it still would have made sense i do think a lot of the scenes could have been cut short or especially towards yeah. the end it felt quite dragged it out did. and then there's like oh no something on. else has gone wrong oh no on. they're still fighting a dinosaur oh no they happen to make another new dinosaur <laughs> why do we need more new dinosaurs we don't they just like you know well like it's pretty you know by the numbers action movie like especially with jurassic park isn't yeah. obviously it's not supposed to be oscar worthy it is supposed to be fun and a lot of it you know was just plain old fun yeah. but after a while you just get sick of watching the same thing over and over again yeah. which is basically i what mean like I, I think it was a lot different than the other ones because it is mm. ma mainly set outside of, of the island like the islands and stuff we've like never that. really seen no you've the dinosaurs never seen them near human civilization yeah should we say so that happens and that obviously that's... sets it up very well for the third and hopefully final <laughs> Jurassic you, you, you film. can't make two and not make three. The ending is too open for them not to make a sequel. You know they're going to because like some there's, people are obsessed with it. There's so many things thrown about in this that they can't not develop on, you yeah. know. And because it's such a big franchise, they're just going to have money to do it anyway. I'm, I'll probably go see it. It'll probably be fine. Hopefully it'll be really, really different because it'll mm. be like purely set outside of the island. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm hoping it would be Well, since anyway, this one's you know? different, you know, you'd think the, the third one would be different. Like, like a lot slowly different. edging away from it being contained. Yeah. I thought some of the shots were pretty cool. Yeah. I always like how... They have a lot of shots of the dinosaurs that don't look too CGI. Mm. You know, like they have that really good, really good, that. Yeah. really good, like actual, like oh my god, this looks like a real creature. Mm. I like how they like build the tension through, like you know, foreshadowing or whatever. Yeah. Like, but there the was a with lot the shadows of shadows in this. <laughs> you know, you, you suddenly don't see a dinosaur and then you there do was, in the there shadows. There was one jump scare that really did get me. <laughs> Which one was that one? It was, I think it was the last one that happened. Oh, okay, yeah. And I was like, I knew it was going to happen because it was so obvious it was going to happen, mm. but it still made me really jump. <laughs> <laughs> there were a few but, jump scares yeah. here and there. And but like, the director of the movie is J.A. I can't pronounce his last name. I can't remember Boy something. Oh, yeah, yeah. But um, I've seen a couple of his films, um, and he did the Spanish horror film called The Orphanage. Um, oh, and like, yeah. you can kind of tell that he's a horror director because like this one has like a very creepy 
it horror did with the whole like you know, theme creepy the music whatever. is very horror -y i think it, the music was a lot different i liked that they didn't do too much like traditional tr jurassic world mm -hmm. music until like the credits and there was like the piano theme running for you yeah like, but you know you've got to have that. that you do need it but like i'm glad they didn't use it too much because i felt mm. like the last time it was like oh, this is you know just, it was being overplayed. It was just riding on the coattails of the other films yeah. a bit too much. This like. one's different in terms of like plot and in terms of setting and in terms of styling, yeah. which is really nice to see because you don't want to see the same thing over Definitely. and over again. But it doesn't necessarily mean like the plot is any better or the characters are any better. Well, you still have the bog standard bad guys. You still have yeah. people that are returning <clears throat> that are bad guys, mm -hmm. but kind of good guys. I don't really know where to go with that. They're in the middle somewhere. Yeah, and you have like obviously the cameo from Jeff Goldblum. I feel like there should have been more Jeff Goldblum. More Jeff Goldblum. One out of only... ten didn't have enough Jeff Goldblum. He's only Jeff in like Goldblum. two scenes, which are basically the beginning and the end of the film. Yeah. Was him talking. And I was like, dude, why wasn't he on this adventure? I wanted to see him like a down and dirty with the dinosaur, <laughs> you know? But he was just like, nah, let him die. <laughs> uh, there, there are so many things wrong with it. Uh, there are so many things. It's fun. It's an action movie. If you like Jurassic Park and dinosaurs, yeah. then yes, of course, go see it. But it's, it's very sad at moments though. It like, is. Oh, one moments. bit got me. It was sadder than the lamb before time. I was literally a couple of, of oh the scenes. Oh my god! I was full on ready to like ugly cry. Like honestly, because I'm emotional. I love me some dinosaurs, and it's shit. always the herbivores that do nothing wrong are the ones that get like. I know. Hurt. And they I'm like, the herbivores deserved better. Okay. Okay. <sighs> genuinely hurt my feelings. That did. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know what we'll see next because you're away next week. I am, I apologize. So there probably won't be a video next week because I'm going to see The Little Mermaid with my mum and I don't feel anyone needs a review about that because everyone knows The Little Mermaid is the best film in the world. I'm going to try <laughs> and convince her to uh, come to see Hereditary with me. Uh, <laughs> she's just... I'll cry like the entire time. <laughs> she's not convinced. I will, I will probably sacrifice myself and go and see Hereditary, but I won't enjoy it, okay? <laughs> because I hate sitting oh, there. I hate like, every minute. Nearly wanting to poo my pants the entire time. <laughs> but I'll try my best. So okay. enjoy that. Thank um, you for oh, we have secret screening soon. It's fine. We do. We so do have a secret anyone, screening. Has anyone got any ideas what secret screening is going to be? Because if any of you do have another I minute card from City World, yeah, <laughs> and you have a clue what we're talking about, yeah. So thank you for watching. Um, we will see you guys in like two weeks, I guess. Okay, okay, bye. bye.